I would look at the two key things that have afflicted us over the last 20 years. Fiscal indiscipline, lack of interministerial coordination. If I had this one wish, I would pick the most competent full-time finance minister under which I will create eight clusters in order to avoid this interministerial conflict and fiscal indiscipline. And all of the government subject matters would fall under these clusters, whether it's infrastructure, minerals, which means we, we can tap into our minerals, whether it's titanium, graphite, or even LNG, digitization. I have actually done a framework where all of the subject matters can be broken down into eight clusters. And each of these clusters would have a cluster chairman who would then address all of the conflict issues. For example, the CEB not talking to the Road Development Authority when something is getting developed. Whatever the in implementation plans of each one of these clusters would fall into potentially three or four buckets. Does it come from the public consolidated fund? Does it come through external resources? Is it a PPP? Is it some other hybrid structure? And then as far as execution, there you will have the finance minister or economic council chaired by the head of state to whom you report to and then the line ministry just simply execute. So this way I take the power away from these conflicting, utterly fiscally indisciplined line ministries and line agencies, centralize it for a period of three years at a minimum under the most capable full-time finance ministers that this country can find. And we have not done that for the last 35 years because the last capable and I'm using the word full-time because heads of state have been finance ministers so you have to discount that the most capable full-time finance minister we had in this country was Mr. Ronnie DeMel and that was in the late 1980s. Mm -hmm.